To be able to implement Google Authentication, we need to add some requirements for the iOS and Android platforms, starting with iOS. So we'll head over to info.plist file, which you can find it in iOS folder runner info.plist. And we're going to add the CF bundle URL types attributes. If you don't have it, you'll need to create a new, but if you already have it, it's just a matter of adding some of the keys and strings inside that. So for as we're going to enter an array with uh, information about um, the reverse client ID and to get the reverse client ID for Google, we need to get it from the Google service info uh, file that you'll find it in the in Firebase. So just head over to project settings. And below, we're going to have two, pl uh, two platforms that we created. There's Android and iOS. So if we head over to iOS, we'll get the Google service info dot please. And if we open it with Xcode, we'll get the reverse client ID. We just copy that and paste it in our info info dot please I'll share the structure of the CF bundle URL types in the readme file of this project and with that uh, we'll head over to focus on the Android section So for Android, what we need is to set the SHA-1 certificate fingerprint on Firebase. To do that, we navigate to the Android folder and we're going to run .gradle w signing report. That's one way of getting the SHA-1 certificate fingerprint for your project. There are other ways like using the play up signing and also using key tool. So this command will print for us uh, different variants of the signing report. There's a debug, release, and profile. And since ours is a debug project, we're debugging. We're going to pick from the debug section, or they're using that we're using the debug mode. So we're going to get the SHA one for the debug variant. We'll copy that and pass it in our Firebase. So we just head over to the Android section, and below we have add fingerprint. We paste our SHA one and save so there are a few bugs that you may experience for example uh, querying the mapped value of provider before task is not supported in such situations you just head in the android section uh, we need to update the builder to gradle in the project level and where it's saying com.google.gms Google services, ours is 4.3.10. We need to update it to 14. In case you get that error. And in the situation where you get an issue with the DEX specification, head over to Android app build.gradle, the app level, and just add multi DEX enabled to true. Great. And with that done, in the next lesson now, we'll finally implement the code that will now authenticate a user with Google. We have finished with all the configurations and settings. Now, let's add our remaining code.